What's up guys, Sammy Hiskey here. Now today, I'm gonna to teach you how to fillet a fish. I'm at home, I've got a lovely little snapper from yesterday's session. I'm gonna show you how to fill it up just right, so it's prime for the table. Now, I'm gonna fill it, film it by myself. I've got my GoPro chest mount and another GoPro mounted on my filleting table there. So, let's get it done. Righto guys, so I've got my two knives here. I'll use those at some stage. I'm gonna have this fish scaled, because I like to leave the skin on, so I'm gonna scale him up now. I've got my scale here. Let's get started. So, flip them over. Just run the scaler nice and evenly along your scales and they'll just pop off like so. Now there is certain fish that you uh, you do, will definitely need to uh, leave the skin off. Oh, looks like someone just got home. But you can see, easy as, just make sure you run the scaler right up there, next to his head, under his belly as well. And don't forget the tail section there. Do both sides, flip them over. Now there's nothing worse than finding a scale still on your fish, so make sure you do a nice thorough job and uh, you won't get any complaints. Do that tail section, under his belly there. And he's just about done. So the whole scaling process should only take a couple of couple of minutes, um, but if you're gonna, it's probably just as fast, if not just a touch slower than uh, than skinning the fish. So we'll get the hose and we'll uh, hose off the work area. Just to keep it nice and clean. Make sure there's no scales left on your fish. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this knife here. This is more of a uh, butchering knife, but it's great for running along the backbone of the fish and getting a nice clean fillet. So what we're going to do, it's going to be a bit of a three-part series, but we're going to go first cut from behind the head there. Make sure there's no scales in your blade. Next one along the back, like so. Run it all the way to the tail and make sure it's all the way to the backbone. Now you'll feel the backbone, the knife will stop, then spin him over, and do inside the tail of the backbone there, like so. Now, we're actually gonna flip him over now, because it's easier to fillet a fish with both sides on, so you do all the hard work first, then once you take a fillet off, you just turn the other side over and flip it over, so. Him over there, knife there. Run it along the backbone, like so. Now you'll see the angles of the camera changing as I fill it. That's because I get my body in position to make it easier to work. So same thing. Now it's time to change knives. So I've got me filleting, long traditional filleting style knife there. Fingers under the sides. Run it over there and run it out the back. Now. What you want to do is just you'll see you got all the way in there it's all ready to come off you just got to get it off the backbone so get your knife run it along and you'll hit the pin bones which are these center ones in here and you can usually cut through those on bigger fish you'll find it a bit more difficult you can even use your bigger knife to cut through them And then you'll hit the rib cage and just go along. Now this saves you having to get the rib cage out after you've taken the fillet off. Lots less scraps. So that's fillet one. So we've got a nice one nice whole fillet there. Beautiful. Now, with all that extra work we did before, this next one should come off nice and easily. So same thing, pinch the two sides of the skin, put your knife through, run up the back, and flick it off. And then run your knife up the backbone and just free that flesh up. Now you can even take a peek under there and help him along. Once again, get to the, get to the pin bones there, which run up the center of the fillet. Get your big staunch knife so you don't blunt your 
a sharp knife and then run your knife over the rib cage. Like so. And then out the belly. And trim that last bit off. And that's fillet number two. So we got two lovely fillets there. You'll notice there's, there's not much meat left on that, that carcass. So we haven't wasted any. So that's how you know you've done a good job. Now from here, we grab our cutting board. Grab fillet number one. What you want to do is get those pin bones out. So you'll be able to feel them there at the center of the fillet and they go a certain amount of distance back. Chuck your knife along there. Now they're actually on a bit of an angle so you've got to follow that angle otherwise you waste a heap of meat. So follow that angle back. Do both sides. Both sides there, follow it up, and then slice them through. One bone left there, that's him. And you've got a beautiful boneless fillet of fish. Now, quickly whip, whip up that other one. Same again, feel for those pin bones up the center, run your knife along. Both sides. Like so. Careful not to nick your fingers. Find the last bone, nick it off. And there you have it. That's two beautiful fillets of uh, snapper ready to go in the frying pan. Now you can cut those in half or have them however you like it but they're nice and boneless ready for everyone to enjoy. Mm -hmm.